Good morning, everyone. I am waiting for everyone to arrive so I can show you some of the new stuff I've gotten. Today will be mostly a show. Today will be mostly a show new things day today. Uh, I won't be doing much art. Kathy will be here later and showing some of her new stuff. Hi, hi, Diana. Oh, thanks, Diana. Hi, Ann. Hi, Dar. Oh, hi, Tori. Good to see you. It's been a long time. I know you haven't seen you around here and there. I'm glad to see you back. Hi, Joy. Hi, Barbara. Oh, thank you, Barbara. Hi, Peggy. Hi, Gail. I think I'm probably going to stick, uh, move my streams up to, um, to 11 o'clock on Fridays. It's a lot better for me because you all know it takes me forever to wake up and I'm not a morning person. So, um, I think I'm going to move my stream times up to 11 o'clock on Friday. So, um, that way, uh, I have time to sleep in a little bit and get all my meds in and, and be alert and awake instead of half asleep like I am at 10 a.m. for you guys. Now, if they would just leave on the spring forward time and never spring back, I would be good. I, I really hope I really was hoping this year the United States was going to stop doing the time change thing because that really messes you up. Hi, Jeannie. You sure can share your blog. Let me, uh, oh, share to change on my blog. Yes, thank you, Jeannie, for doing that. Yeah, I'm going to start coming on at 11. It's, it's, I, I could be more awake by 11. 10, uh, 10 is a struggle. I mean, I, I mean, I could go out, and, you know, if I have to go somewhere or do something, I will, but I'm not, you know, but for streaming, I really want to be, I really want to be a, a little more awake and alert and, um, not out of it for you guys, so it gives me more time for uh, to get ready and, like I said, have my meds kick in and stuff like that, and I'm a little more awake. Anyone has thyroid, they know what I'm talking about. Um, I did get my meds changed. That has helped. Uh, that has helped quite a bit. I'm not saying hi to you, Eileen. <laughs> Cannot say hi to you. I'm going to say hi to everybody but you. Yeah, I was, um, uh, did some shopping, of course, and I thought it'd be fun to show. I got, um, the, they got more stuff on sale today, of course, than what they had the other day. So, um, I got to go to the grocery store after the stream today and, uh, um, I got distracted yesterday with stuff and then totally forgot that I needed stuff. But um, anyway, um, so I'll be hitting the grocery store up later and then hitting the Joann's. They got like their, um, they got more stuff on sale that was not on sale the other day. That makes sense because probably towards the weekends they run more of their sales. So, um, because Kath, how I know this is because Kathy went is there was there shopping and she did find a paper at her Joann's. She did not find the journals that I found, and uh, she's looking. I think she went to go to container store to find some sort of nifty uh, storage stuff. And um, at eleven, I think at one o'clock, Cass's class starts, so I will probably get off at one o'clock. So Kathy can go over there uh, to Cass's class. Um, so what I'm doing is I'll show you uh, first off until more people get here. Um, I will show you guys what I got at uh, over at Hobby Lobby. Um, I did pick up, of course, these. Um, this would be fun for using for templates. I have some other roosters and chickens and stuff, but um, 
is what I didn't have. And this would be good for me uh, for templates uh, to have as well. Of course, I have my cute little fabric pigs and chickens and stuff from Aaron too. Um, and uh, these would be just nice templates for me to play with and have fun on my farm journals. Um, I was in a um, Christmas um, Christmas wrapping paper exchange on Crafting Mamas, and um, uh, it was really neat. And some of the people, like I just put wrapping paper in mine. Some are so generous with tags and and cards and stuff like that that i didn't even think to put in and ribbon and you know um for the with the wrapping paper exchange and look at my look at my look at my god look at my paper i got chicken christmas paper this was i don't know if they follow me or not on youtube probably i don't think they do but how cute is this? I've never seen this. And one of the pieces of Christmas wrapping paper that was in the, that someone gave me was chicken, Christmas chickens. Unbelievable. If they did not know, they were just had a, a dead sense. I got chicken Christmas paper. This is the bomb. I was just like so excited over this. I'm so excited. Isn't that cute, Peggy? Christmas chickens. Seriously, does it get any better than that? Christmas chickens. Oh my gosh. I don't know if the, she, this is, this lady shared some vintage wrapping paper with me. I don't know if it's vintage or not. I just, uh, I was just so stoked to get this. So there's inspiration for, uh, for is uh, to paint, right? Um, I did put some of the other papers that I could use in a snow journal because we do have snow now. Um, I set these aside to put in my snow journal. I got uh, I got this paper, which was uh, again part of the exchange. Um, I got this one, which is pretty with the gray and the red plaid um, uh, snowflakes with like this barn wood background. I really like that one. This was one I'm gonna I thought would be cute in a snow journal too. Um, I love peanuts. Um, this one I thought was really cute. There's a uh, line of sled riding and snowball fights and making snowballs. I thought this was really cute paper. So I will uh, look and even uh, even Woodstock made a mini snowman. <laughs> so, um, and then there's the little muffins. I thought this was cute. So I put this with my snow journal stuff and then um, and look at this one. This is really pretty. Um, it's, it, this one's kind of has a, a sheen to it. Good morning, Gail. I hope I didn't say good morning. Hi, Kimberly. Your, your kind of snow is all gone today. We got, dear day, we're supposed to be about an inch of snow, but to me, it looked like we got more like two inches of snow. Um, it's still like the, the roads were a mess yesterday when I went out early. I had to drive very slow. Uh, the roads were still a mess um, in the morning. Um, they were better by the afternoon. Uh, the roads look good now. It's just in the grass and stuff. Um, but it looks really pretty. And the day before, we had rain. And then it was freezing on stuff. And uh, it was really weird. Like where the air was colder, of course, in the ground. So I had icicles hanging off of trees. And my bird feeders and stuff like that. And I went out, took a bunch of photos. Um, it didn't freeze on the ground, but it froze on like of everything else. It was it was wild. And then we got the snow. So that that I wanted to show you guys uh, the cute little wrapping paper stuff. Um, the other things I picked up over at Hobby Lobby was um, I picked up some paint. They're starting to get they're starting to get some of their acrylic paints back in. You know, there was hardly any 
Um, it's still very sparse, but they're starting to get uh, paint back in over at Hobby Lobby. Your snow was gone by early afternoon. I didn't even know it snowed where you live in Vegas. Hello, that's crazy. Yeah, this day it's it's pretty thick. You can see a little bit of the grass, but we got a couple inches, and they said we're only like an inch, so they underplayed that one. Hi, Maggie. Oh, hi, Joan. So the um, anyone else? If I missed you coming in, oh, there's Janet. Hi, Janet. Making beetroot brownies. Never heard of bee root brownies. It's hard to even say. Yeah, our stores are open here, um, Tori, and in, in, in Kentucky. I think they're open in most of all in the U.S., but I can't say for sure all over the U.S. because each state is doing different things depending on um, how COVID is, where you live. You do have to wear a mask at the stores. There's still a people who aren't, but 99% of people are. And um, you have to wear a mask at stores, uh, but uh, they are all open. Um, so. So then they, like I said, they're starting to get, so if you were, you know, I mean, if you got to wear, you know, we, a lot of us probably already had a big stash of paint. But if you're running out of your, sorry, if you're running running out of your favorite guy, if you if you're running out of your favorite colors, they are starting to restock paint. So like um, I don't use brown a lot, but I did actually buy three brown paints because whenever I go to use brown, I'm always aggravated because I don't have that many varieties of brown. It's always gravitate to fun colors, but. Sometimes you need brown, so I did buy three different brown paints, um, and I bought some cream because uh, I didn't really have any cream, and then I bought some blue, but uh, and I also bought some big bottles of um, black and white because you use that all the time. Um, so I picked those up. I picked up my stencils, of course, and I'm trying to think what else I got there. Um, there's something else I got. Let me think here. Well, the other was a house thing, so you don't, it was a little house thing. I can't think offhand. Okay. The other thing, I did get Tuesday mornings. Mine did not really have anything new or wonderful by any means, um, but I did get these over Tuesday mornings. I thought these are nice. So it's a pen, they're pen and ink. Hold on. That's a whole camera focus BS I go through. There you go. Pen, pen and ink rough surface um it's 110 gsm so it's, it's not like super it's not going to take a lot of um you know a lot of water or whatever but i love the size of it i thought the size was really cute so it's uh about five and a half by three and a half and uh, it's pretty thick. It's got the little elastic band and the tab. And um, it was three ninety nine, uh, normally ten. And it's one hundred twenty eight. No, doy. It's right on there. Five and a half by three and a half. And it's one hundred twenty pages. So I thought this was a really cute size uh, journal. So that was all of my only purchases of Tuesday mornings. They really didn't have anything. Uh, anything new or wonderful, but these two. So that was all I got there. Um, oh, I knew what else I got Hobby Lobby. I knew a couple other things. It, it's still waking up. Um, I put my armbands on and start swimming. Third month of full lockdown. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, Tori. I'm so sorry. It sucks. <laughs> You're going into lockdown, the lockout hubby. 
Um, I picked up this um, over at Hobby Lobby. Um, it's a little chicken wire, little roll chicken wire. So I thought I have used this in the past. I haven't used it in a long time. I'll have any more. And um, I thought this would be fun to play with. We could try. We could try some um, alcohol inks on it. Um, we could see if we could rust it up with some alcohol inks and stuff. Um, I don't know. Paste might be weird, but I did pick up these off uh, Amazon the other day. Um, the the Finnabar um, the Finnabar rust paste. So even though this is paste, I don't know how it would be. So I might try like you know seeing how that would be if you could put the paste on it will it dry on metal i don't know it may not dry it may stay wet so i have to do some playing around to see if it stays on the metal dries on the metal it, you know like i mean like adheres to the metal like i don't know if it will or not um and i know well we know alcohol ink should work depending on the metal and i also bought some rust mica um, mica powder could try that. So I thought this, when I saw this, this would be fun to try to do a faux, faux rust. So, um, yeah, and then I just picked up some burlap to use on different things. So that I really enjoy burlap. So this would be fun to layer. Um, this would be good for slow stitching. Um, you could use this in your art journal pages. Um, I just, I know, I like, it's a really thin burlap. It's all frayed. I thought this is, so I picked this up to, just to have to put on, um, put on pages and slow stitching and so on and so forth. Oh yeah, I had to pick up twine the other day. I could not, I can, I did not have any like, like thick twine. So I bought twine. All the weird things you think you own and I didn't have any twine. So I, what twine I had, I used on my fabric and I bought more fabric and I needed more twine. Those are kind of like the, you know, fill things. Um, let's see. And we find other things I want to show you guys. I found, I got this at an auction. I thought this was super cute. Look at this, guys. It's, and this is just for Eileen. Happy camper with some flamingos. Just saying. I, I need to cut this out and send this to Eileen so she can slow stitch this. <laughs> uh, yes. It, remember you did your chicken wire stuff, Janet, on your stream. I love that it, when you use the chicken wire. And um, you actually bought like chicken wire and cut off the points like like from the hardware store. And I was like, that's scary. So um, I bought the safer chicken wire. And I love the stuff you did with that, Janet, uh, when you're using the chicken wire on your pages, on your journal. So um, uh, this one, it's all, each is different. This one says adventure and there's a flamingo watering pot. <laughs> <laughs> my camera now he see, see this is a, a little flamingo watering can <laughs> with the plants <laughs> okay it's just so fun you would use ah you would use black gesso on it that's terrible this one is freedom so this uh this uh yeah i guess more i don't know if it's supposed to be more in a you know fourth of july Thing, but it's really cute. These are really cute panels. And this one is Chariot. Um, this one's got a couple, again, lounging chairs and a cute little grill. And these are just all really cute. This one, this one cracks me up the most because of the big flamingos. Um, Here's a, they got a fishing rod. You can see this little fishing rod, little shoe, little boots. There's the flamingos. This fabric is adorable. Adorable. I couldn't stand it. Had to get it. It's just so cute. So, um, there's two of each in this. So there's, I think there's two. I think there's two of each. We'll see. Is that right? 
This is the, I just showed this one. Maybe that's the revert. Let's see. Hold on. Hold on. No, that's a duplicate. This is, this is the duplicate. Yeah, so there's, there's four of them and there's two of each. Got it. Okay, so this is a panel I bought. And then on the side, it has the cute little things here. Uh, like you would see, you know, I might, this actually reminds me of Boy Scout and Girl Scout things. Um, you know, I think that's funny because Wi-Fi would be at the campgrounds nowadays. So anyway, this was some cute fabric I got at a, a sale. And I thought this would be fun to use this summer. Uh, this would be a great uh, fabric to use this summer on a journal. There's snow outside, but we can, you know, we can start, we can start, you know, thinking about these things, right? Oh, thanks, Lisa. It is cute. Hi, Mama Son. Drown the flamingo. <gasps> Terrible, Eileen. Thank you, Nana. Good to see you. Um, the other thing I picked up on Etsy, um, you all know how I love houses. So I picked up some... I picked up uh, a house chipboard and I thought this was so cute. So I think this would be really fun to decorate. It's just a little, it's just, uh, I'm sorry, I'm off camera. This is just a cute little house chipboard journal. And um, I found it on Etsy and I just thought this would be fun to decorate, go with the house theme stuff. You never know, and I might be able to. I might be able to, I might be able to add it in here. Like uh, I could add these as individuals or, you know, I mean, take, obviously take it off the ball chain thing. And um, I have my um, house journal book that I started and see, I could add these to this. So I thought this, this is probably what I'm going to do too, is I'm probably going to decorate it and add them to some of my pages. And I think I might just save one just to use as a template so I can use it over and over. You know what I mean? I'm just going to keep one to use as a template. So I think that this might be a nice addition to uh, my little house journal. So um, let's see. I'm going to move on to some of my Joanne stuff. To show you guys joanne's had a lot uh oh wait i got one more thing before i go that route hold on um i found these at tractor supply is this is cute they had this 50 percent off is this adorable or what i was like oh my gosh so they had a few calendars left um 50 off obviously because it's we're now almost into february and um i had to get it right how cute is this it's got some really cute painted uh, farm animals, which I think would be great to collage with. Uh, great inspiration um, if you wanted to use this to, to paint from. I you know, like this one. He's like, what? What's happening? What am I missing? What's going on? <laughs> Hi, Katrina. Look at this little goat. Isn't he cute? Sorry, I missed what. Uh, you don't you just hate the die cut? Let oh, yeah, letters. No oh, nightmare. Isn't this adorable? The little goat, this goat is so cute. So, and I love, of course, the the turquoise background. And if you look, I'm going to show you up close. The, it's done really well. Like you can see it's made, isn't this cute, Kimberly? It's made with this distressed, oh, look how nice up close you can see how pretty it is and how uh, that it looks like, it looks like a real, it looks like real bo wood boards that's been painted 
you know, because there's got there's the knot, there's like the rough spots, there would be the dark in between, it would be the wood would still be there where you didn't get the paint in the cracks, and um, and then like you painted, you know, this goat on top of some uh, wood fencing or something, you know, what I mean, it's it's really well done. I like that it, it looks like it was painted on real wood fencing um, or real wood boards or whatever. Um, there's the there's a baby cow. Oh, so cute! Love the baby. Hi, CB. It is cute. Thanks, Maggie. I I just love. Uh, look at this go or this. I'm sorry, this donkey. I love donkeys. I think, you know, because horses, you know, can be dangerous and a lot of expense work. I think my next, it's if you can't have a horse, I'd want a donkeys. Donkeys and goats and chickens, right? Donkeys are so cute and so fun to listen to. My favorite is was the petting zoo donkey. He was so cute to pet and he was so loud and funny. Oh. I don't forget that little goat. That was so fun. My kids were younger and I got to do that. Um, this is uh, a lamb, obviously. Look at, all right, look at, all right, that's a goat. I'm sorry, this is a goat. <laughs> look at the ears. Look at the top. This is a goat. Now, this goat's on some brown. It's like a brown painted wood. That makes sense since he's white. Is this the only one that's brown or rest all blue? Can't remember. Okay, this one's brown as well. Here's another cow. And I mean, it's well done. Now, now, whether these are actually painted on wood, that's a possibility that the artist actually painted these on wood and then they were put into a counter and this is not faux wood. It's going to be real wood. And they painted it on top of the wood and photographed it for here. So that's the other thing, too. This might be actually painted on wood because you can see how they it, it's it's um, rough painted you know what i'm saying not that i'm expert expert by any means that's my interpretation there look at the pig he's smiling this calendar is so adorable i i just cannot believe i i mean sorry i gotta grab my mouse real quick Right, and that's it, Peggy. Like, I can't tell if this is digital exactly, if this was actually painted on wood or, um, you know, or is digital exactly. It's hard to tell. It looks like it really was, but who knows. But you can, I mean, you can see where they darkened the edges. Um, all right, I mean, it's just really cute. I like that it has the pig smiling. It, it's very sweet. And there's another goat. And this one's cute. So this one they have the neck is kind of like faded, like faded out a little bit. And so the, you know, gives you, you know, you can see that this would be the body and the neck, but the focus is on the face. It's really pretty. Doesn't it with the little smile? I should frame him. That's a good idea. You know, that's a good idea. Cause this is like probably, these are probably roughly, 12 by 12, so it'd be easy to frame. He would be fun to have up on the wall. Just, you know, having a bad day. There you go. Hi, Joanna. If I'm saying it right. And look at this. So they, this is cute. This is for October. So there's a cow with a painted pumpkin <laughs> and a crow on top. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cute. You know, you always see that, you know, they'll have like a cow and a pig and a chicken. Like they'll have them like, you know, on decoration standing on top of each other. Um, I think this is so cute that they have the, the, the cow, the pumpkin, and the crow. I think that's cute. Again, these are all, if you don't, if you don't collage with them or use one, obviously put it up on your wall and use it for an actual calendar. That's crazy, right? Um, you could, like I said, use this for painting inspiration. So 
There's another cow. This guy's more black. And here's another goat. It looks like more. This is would be a baby. Or, I'm sorry, not a goat. It's a sheep. What time did I say I get up? God. This is a sheep, not a goat. <laughs> God. Drink more Dr. Pepper. You can tell it's a sheep. It's a sheep. It's just me. But sheeps are so cute with the little pink, the, the little pink nose, and they always look like they're smiling. Um, I used to uh, follow an artist who painted a lot of sheep. And this is, that was December. So that's the whole book. So if you're interested, it's called Barnyard Friends 16 month 2021 calendar. And I found this over at Tractor Supply. And it might be on Amazon. Um, Hopper makes it. And there's a skew. If someone wants to look it up by skew. Okay, so then I bought this one on clearance. I have another outhouse one, but this one's a smaller outhouses. And I thought this was cute. So it goes with my whole, you know, the, uh, my whole farm love here. So I bought the outhouse book. So these are kind of fun. This one's January. <laughs> Oh, these are these are these, these are just fine. This reminds me of here's the, this one. You know when you drive by some of the people's houses and they have like all like eight million decorations out in front of the yard, and you're like, oh my gosh, this is the same thing. Like this is what it reminds. Me. Here's the outhouse, and the yard is just full of stuff. There's snowmen. I don't know. A, this looks like a a potato head tree. Um, there's a metal wheel, there's just, you know, boots and, you know, I mean, this just reminds me of you drive by the houses that have a million little things in our yard. Oh, if you look here on the curb, they even have a <laughs> snowman thing. Um, so that's for February and we do get snow in February. Usually that's when our snow comes. Here's March. This one's interesting because it looks like a TP. Ha ha, TP. Ha <laughs> TP. I said that without thinking. Okay, this looks like a, a TP. And there's, I care. You get there's the whole thing. <laughs> Look at what I said that. Um. <laughs> Thank you, Dar, for putting that up. I do shop at Tractor Supply. I buy all of my, um, I feed the ducks and I buy uh, duck food over at Big Bags of Duck Food at Tractor Supply. I've bought um, journals, uh, journals from there, uh, decorations from there. They do have some uh, decorations and stuff. And uh, yeah, I like, I love Tractor Supply. I wish it was bigger and had more. Yep. It's it's a fun place to it's a fun place to go in. And in the spring, when you go in there, they have all the baby chickens. You can buy all the baby chickens and ducks and they have them in these like metal pool things and they have the heat lamps on them and they're like you walk in you hear chip 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 all over the store. It's so fabulous. So I go in and look at all the baby chickens and all the baby ducks. That you, uh, you can buy when they get those in. Yep. Let's see. Look at this one. It's got a heart. I like this one. This one's out in the, some sort of mountain area. It's got a heart on the door. That one's April. These are just fun to put for, you know, for reverse collage. And uh, it's just playful and fun. I know it's not everybody's thing, uh, but it's just fun and playful. I like this one, Bucks and Does. Um, these would be fun for, like, reverse collage. 
This one has a, a paw on the door, which I like. Um, here's here's one that's got out in the mildress. Um, oh, it's got a ramp to it. That's nice. And that one has a deck, so you can sit out here and look at the scenery. Here's another one. And so they look how they made a face for air holes. That's pretty good. Yeah, so I thought this was cute. Here's one with the metal tin roof. And, you know, it's got little, uh, some little kids. It looks like their little kids decorated it. Their little girl, little boy heart. So someone's little kids decorated that. That's cute. There's the one that was on the front cover for fall. Yeah, and this one looks like a log cabin. Wow. This one's made, uh, made as you can see, it's on the deck of like it's made with log, like a log cabin. That's a, look at the beautiful scenery too behind it. Um, and then this one is December, and that's why they put a green one on there. So this is fun for me. I enjoy stuff like this. Um, the other thing I picked up was a chicken. I buy magazines, also Tractor Supply. <laughs> And uh, good morning, Brooke. When my boys were little, hubby raised ducks. All the neighborhood kids would come and feed them. Oh, well, that's so cool, Peggy. Oh, I love that you raised ducks and the neighbors came and all the kids that came and fed them. I would be one of the kids coming to feed them. Just saying. I would be one of the kids coming to feed the ducks. I'd be in line with the little kids to feed the ducks. Uh, hi, Brooke. Thank you. Nice to, nice to be missed. Um, let's see. This one I got is, is you need. Yes, they have all kinds. They always get cute chicken magazines. You can also, if I can buy these at my grocery store as well. I like this one. Look, fixer upper, furnish and decorate the hen house. Seriously funny. So this is all about playful chicken coops. And, you know, I love, well, I love houses and I love decorating and, you know, I love all that stuff anyway. So these guys are wood. Don't freak out. Those are wood. Um, this chicken coop, they have swings and chicken coops. They have swings, like, you know, when you get little swings for your birds and the birds for your cages. They have swings. I had no idea. This is all kinds of chicken coops and, of course, chickens. And there's some really pretty ones. There's your basic chicken. Look at this, guys. He's cute. Look at the little, look at him. Woo. So, him or her, I don't know. But uh, I do follow some Instagram um, ones with chickens and barns. I like to, you know, like to look at it. Just do. And uh, look at these roosters. Look at these roosters. They're sitting. They're sitting in a tire. They're sitting in a tire. So it's just uh, for me. This would be fun collage. This would be fun just to look at. I mean, this is just stuff I like. It's not for everybody. I look. They're they're giving their rooster. Or, some leafy greens of some sort. Um, this one's cute. See, there you go. See, there you could get people the. This is what we did the petting zoo where they had the machines and and the and some of the places are zoo. Um, so you could get people to give money towards that and it helps cover their food. So that's a neat idea. But again, this is just this is just stuff I like. Um, <laughs> this one they use, they put the uh, chicken wire in there and they use like a swing set thing. See, I guess you can improvise. Um, I There's this girl on TikTok that my daughter, my oldest daughter sends. Uh, <laughs> she sends me the uh, her TikToks and she has this farm. 
and she does a TikTok every day going out and like putting the everybody into the house, the ducks, the chickens and putting them in and then taking them out every morning. And then they have the cute little puppies that run around the farm and they run around the farm and and, uh, you know, to help, uh, you know, help, quote unquote, help her. And it's really cute to watch. Um, I've, I might just join TikTok just to see this girl's uh, farm ones. Um, oh, let me grab that real quick and show her that the chicken, uh, chicken wrapping paper. I was in a I was uh, in a Christmas paper exchange, and in one of my exchanges, I don't know if they follow me or not. It just got lucky. They sent me chicken Christmas wrapping paper, and so I was like, they could not have picked the more perfect paper for me. So these little chickens are here. There you go. Here's some inspiration for your um, stickers, Brooke, for December. You could do some chickens with scarves and hats here's some inspiration for your stickers for next year you could do christmas chickens or snow chickens with all of their hats and and scarves and stuff or do that for january february they're all decked out for the cold weather just saying did you got the talent? Here's the inspiration. All right. This is so anyway. So do a quick flip through. Um, look at that. You know I'm gonna have to use this. Isn't that cute? Look at him sticking out the ho the holes of the lottery. Isn't this a cute? Oh, this adds. Oh, this is so cute. Um, like I said, I was there. Um, it's stuff that makes me happy. I've been a little, a little just upset about stuff. So this is like things that make me happy. So that's what you got to do. Um, so I'm like there and went in for duck food and left with chicken magazines and farm, farm counters. I, I was at, I was a happy camper. They do get some at the grocery store, but uh, this one, I don't know if they'll get this one in or not. If this is a different one because there's lots of different chicken uh, magazines. They also get goat magazines and uh, some other different animal magazines over at uh, Tractor Supply. Look at the look at the swing. Look at this guy in the swing. I did not know they liked sitting in swings and perching like uh, like a parakeet. I like how they have the chickens to get out of the word coop. Oh, this is pretty. Uh, like <laughs> someone did, they put curtains in there for their for their chickens to go in and out, lay their eggs. They put curtains up. Um, this would be cute. I think that I love um, I love mason jars, and um, these are really pretty mason jars, aren't they? With the the, the greens and the the turquoises and then they put some fresh cut flowers in them and it's on this cute little metal tin tray um i like i don't know where they get mason jars these colors that these are bought at a store but i would buy those if i saw mason jars that were these pretty colors i do love mason jars um here's another chicken chicken feeder and they put yeah that one they someone put curtains on. I, I just think it's it's just fun, just fun stuff. And uh, and they're drying their flowers across there. But look, this one has a mirror in it. Look at the chicken looking at himself. Yep, they like mirrors too, just like parakeets and stuff. Swings, mirrors. Find that to be, I find that to be really interesting. These are some fancy roosters and chickens in here. Is that pretty this is? So they said that you can stimulate your birds with interesting and, and enrichment ideas. So give them all kinds of interesting places to go. And I think that's easy. So they built this little thing for them. They're all sitting up in here. 
so they like to check they like new places to hang out and nest and then this is like so they have some sands they kick their little feet um so these are some really neat ideas and that makes sense they want some you know it, they're make an interesting uh environment for their for them and this one see they got they're eating some uh cucumbers interesting they hung it up for them of course corn this would be cute for a fall page. And then this one, they uh, offer water when it, for when it's hot because your birds appreciate the cool down. And so they put they uh, have the pool for their, their chickens so they can cool off and kind of swim in the water. Isn't that cute? Because it gets hot and they need water. And then um, the summer. And here they set up like a little mister. So their chickens can go underneath the cool off little mister. I'm learning a lot. I mean, it's just neat. This they made just a little little uh, place for them to hang out, some shade. There's a little girl feeding them. That's cute. Yeah, I like stuff like this. It, it makes me happy. Now, <laughs> did you see him? Wait a minute. Ready? Bam. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my gosh. I wanted to become me. Totally me. The more me, the better. I instinctively knew this and I was right. Comedian Phyllis Diller, 1917 to 2012. <laughs> Phyllis Diller. <laughs> she does look like Phyllis Diller, right? With her crazy hair. Do you remember her? Yeah, like this is just really neat. I, I, I mean, I know like to anyone else, this is probably if you live on a farm, this is all like you know all this, but I've been in a, you know, I'm a suburbanite and my, my dad's family all live in the country. So I've had that exposure, but I don't know that much. So uh, it, it's really interesting to see. Yeah, this, I mean, I didn't know they liked things like a parakeet would. This bird is beautiful. Oh, look at the, la it's even, look at the lashes, people. It's got eyelashes. Look at the lashes. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, things that make you smile. That one might be worthwhile to frame. Look at that guy. On a top, it's got to, like, this is going to have to go front and center somewhere. So that was my fun art tractor supply stuff. Okay, onwards. I watch my time. Um, I picked up the paper that Patty showed last night. Patty Lane went to um, she went to Joanne's. And she got the giant paper, too. And it's so big. It's really be hard for me to get it all on camera. It's huge. 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 And it's fabulous. It's thick. It's, it's handmade in India. It's beautiful paper. she i showed it twice okay she missed the christmas chicken again all right brooke just for you third time all right bring my camera down no one keeps sick here we go christmas chicken all right you could call them not just christmas chicken well it's christmas papers it's christmas wrapping paper an exchange someone sent me and but these could be good for february january as in like if you know snow i'm gonna put this you know this will go for snow too not just christmas as we snow oh you did see it okay pay attention brooke okay just saying I'm like hitting around. These would be really cute monthly stickers. Just saying. These would be super cute. 
And so I'm going to do, I may even, I might even scan this before I use it. So I have it. Okay, so this is uh, the ginormous paper I got from Joann's, and I did, it's by, if you haven't seen it, it's handmade paper from India, and on sale for $3, normally 6 This is the skew. Trying to hold it still. I've never seen it before. It's new to me. Uh, maybe your stores have it. Uh, so I got two of these. I love this one. Love this one. With the reds, the turquoise. Uh, it, it's just the yellows. I love the pattern. I love the. I love the floor. I love everything about this. I don't know what style this is. I just know I love it. So I got two of these. That was my favorite. I got two of these of the mulberry paper. And you can see the flowers embedded in there. Hi, hi, Krista. Uh, Christy, good to see you. Oh, that's boho. That's why I love it so much. Ah, Christy's so smart. Thank you. I was like, I saw this paper and I was like, I love it. I don't know why I love it, but I love it. I love the, the, I'm not like, I don't use a lot of red normally, but I love, I love red and turquoise together. And I think with the pops of with a little bit of the uh, yellow, some tan, some white. Like there's other colors mixed in. So that's why I love it. Straight up boho. And Christy knows boho. Christy Biddleson has an Etsy shop. And if she has a YouTube channel. If you don't follow her, you should follow her. Yep, she has a YouTube channel. She has a YouTube channel, and she has, like I said, an Etsy shop. And Christy Biddleson is is uh, is the one who sent me this beautiful journal, handmade journal that she made for me. And I showed this while back. It's beautiful journal. She made this for me, and I was so feel so blessed. She made this wonderful journal for me. And like I said, she has an Etsy shop and a YouTube channel if you want to follow Christy. I love this. It is made from a, a brown bag. I don't know how she made it. I love it. It's got little pockets. I showed this on a channel. She has her handmade avocado papers and tea papers. And she put in Calvin and Hobbes comics, which I never heard of before this. And and the one made me laugh because this kid doesn't like to eat anything. And she actually knew that I don't eat vegetables. And it's a whole skit about this him not eating vegetables. Hilarious. And it was perfect for me because I was so, I don't like them now and I never liked them as a kid. So look at the beautiful papers. This is all handmade and um, beautiful vellums, avocado paper, tea papers, vintage papers. It's a beautiful journal that she made me. Here it is. Here is the last half of it. There's me. There's me and vegetables. Anything green. There's me. <laughs> so I read this the first time I looked through on stream with it with you guys. I laughed so hard. I cannot believe this was in here. And uh, this is me. Like it's that is perfect for me i love it i love this journal i love everything about it there's some mul uh, mulberry paper in here it's a beautiful journal so check follow her on youtube and check out her etsy shop christy Bellson does some beautiful work beautiful beautiful work and um she's really nice 
So anyway, I give her a shout out since she came in. And thank you for telling me about the boho paper. Because the boho paper, I, I, I'm glad you said, I just looked at this like, I love it, I love it, love it. So I had to get that. That was my favorite. This is, okay, now we're back. And this is my other favorite, like I was saying. This is like, uh, this has got pieces of, of flowers in it. It's got big pieces of flowers in here. It's beautiful. You can see the the embedded flowers inside and then the flowers on top. And you can see them. Here's the back side. You can see them through some of the back side. This is handmade paper from India. It's beautiful. Look at these flower petals. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. That's right. You know, I needed that. That's exactly what I needed. It is durable. It's really thick. This is um, this is super. This is super thick paper. This is not. This is definitely like a mall, a thick mulberry handmade paper. This is not. This is not poster paper, or or scrapbook paper. It it's very. If I tear this, I'm sure you would see. You'll see all the texture. These are over at Joann's and they're on sale for $3 a sheet. And these sheets are, they're 21 inches by 31 inches. They're huge. They're six on sale for three. And it's for $3 for this giant sheet of paper. It's an excellent, excellent deal. You can make so many journal covers with this. No, I bought one of everything. Those two were my favorite. I just bought one of the others that were my less favorite. Like this one, what I loved about this one is to use this as, as just using this section or just using this section or just using this section. I would probably use this paper in sections. My favorite part of this paper, of course, is the um, paisley shaped uh shaped flower leaf or you want to call it with uh the flowers and leaves doodled inside let me zoom in a little bit sorry you can't see nothing <laughs> don't show anything cool to be back in three minutes um there you go this was my favorite because it had the the leaves with the little mini um designs in it oh i gotta sit down Hold on. Oh, i gotta sit down a few minutes i am hurry okay so you can see you can see that so it's pretty cool um, I'd be able to use this pattern. Yeah, I mean, I like the idea of using using this paper um, in in sections. You know what I mean? So that was my premise when I saw that paper. This one's uh, this one's really pretty. Um, this is really busy, you know. But I think in in small amounts, I think it'd be. Now I'm gonna tilt it. Can you guys see the the gold? I'm going to keep tilting it. If you can see, there's shiny there. So you can see there's there's a, definitely a shiny. Oh, my camera pick it up or not. So it's sheen. So there it is, glittery. So there's glitter and plain. It's all mixed together. And I think that's what makes it cool um, is the dark, the dark, the dark glitter part and then the faded the faded part you know what i mean like i said and you know you may want to use this and this so i think would make a nice journal cover um i like everything it's a journal cover all right she's back this one is going to freak out my camera probably um this one's really pretty this again has the papers, when you when you get them in your hands, if you get a chance to get to Joanne's, it is a um, they're all thick, 
They're super thick and durable. And like the backs of the paper, I don't know if you can see, it definitely is um, handmade. Like it's, it's this weaved texture. I think it's hard to describe. This one has again the the gold uh, the gold mixed in with with the with the white you know with the mixed in. So you get the shiny and the doll, the shiny and the doll. And I think that's always a nice combination to have. Um, the shiny and the doll. Yeah, it's really pretty. So that was the other one. Of course, that's the, this is another one I really like. This, I guess, is boho as well. This one is oranges, pinks, greens, navy blue. I love navy too. This is a really pretty, um, this is probably boho too. Now, now we said the other was. Again, it's 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 really pretty. I like the reds better than oranges. I will be honest. But what I loved about this paper, it's a it's a like a red orange. It's not an orange pumpkin orange. It's a red orange, and I love the uh, the navy. It's like there's navy and then there's gold and there's green. And those look really pretty together. Navy and gold look really nice together. I like, I just like all the combinations, the blue against the pink. I mean, this is very nice color inspiration. Okay. Hold on. I already showed you that one. Hold on. I have two of those. Sorry. Whoop. Bought two of those. And um, I have this one. This one, I don't know. Again, I'm not sure what style it is, but it has. I'm going to keep my hands here so my camera don't freak out. Um, I like this one. Again, this is it's like the other one. I think you would use this like a border. So uh, you could cut this strip out. You could cut this strip out. You could cut these out as a group or these out individually. And when you get up top, there's another... You could again use this strip alone. I like these in terms of you don't have to use the entire sheet. You could just use the use these sections of it. You know what I'm saying? Like you would use just the borders. So you have the opportunity to do that. This one has as well has if you look, it has. Hold on. Oh, gosh, camera, come on. Play nice. I'm trying to get play nice. It's not. The, the gold is shiny as well. So I just can't get my camera to pick it up. The gold, the gold has um, a sheen to it as well. It's like the others. There's that gold pop there. Maybe it's picking up there. Again, I'm sorry about my camera. It does does not do well at times but this is gold with and i love this color um i have a lot of paint paint bottles uh in this color it's like a greeny blue blue greens i mean i just love this color so that's one of probably my, i think that's why i was drawn to this one. i like this one it's this is probably one again one of my favorite colors um, I like it used with the um, the magenta, like really dark magenta, and then the dark turquoise of the gold. I love these color combinations. I think that's always hard is picking a color combination. This one is more of a, uh, obviously like a vertical, instead of horizontal pattern. This is a vertical pattern. This reminds me of wallpaper, honestly. Again, the gold is the gold has some sheen to it as the others. There's gold and blue. It, they, all the gold sparkly that you see, or maybe um, just so you know, all the gold is like sparkly. And this one reminds me of wallpaper. So this one's super. Oh, I gotta leave my hand. Super pretty. Um. Yeah, yeah. Like you could have. Yeah, like uh, you can use this as small. Like if you wanted to, you could cut these out in rows. You could cut these out individually. 
I mean, it's, I think I like the I like the papers like they have options too. Um, this one is the Oriental paper they had. It's really pretty. Um, this one's got all sorts of sheen. I'm gonna just tilt it back and forth so you can get the idea. You can see the sheen. So other than the painted flowers um, and the black, the rest has light and dark sheen. So you can see it was it's like some sort, it's like a leaf stencil done with dark and light sparkle. Oh, well, the dark is the gold. I'm sorry. This is the sparkle. This is the plain. But, I mean, you see the combination. I mean, I like mix, when you're mixing when you're mixing the sheen and the plain. It just looks there. You can really see it from there. It's really pretty. So, this would be great for an Oriental journal, Asian journal. Uh, we have, I have a, a box of uh, Asian stuff. This will look really pretty with it. And um, I love the cherry blossoms, so it's really pretty. Again, there's my favorite one. I bought two of those. That was my favorite one, too. Then the uh, last one, they had 12 varieties. They had 12 of these. Let's see. It's all that one. And is this one. This one looks like the ocean, right? I mean, just. This would be cool for a summer book. Um, to me, this reminds me of the ocean. I don't know about anyone else, but, you know, I could see if you tucked in some mermaids and stuff in here. To me, this looks very, this looks like a, an ocean. Put your sailboat. Yeah. This, to me, this is, uh, says ocean, ocean, ocean. So this would be great for a summer journal, I think. Or, you know, if you go on a trip somewhere. Um you wanted to journal about it, but I think this is super pretty. And this to me says water city, right? Um, let's think. I'm going to go back to, let's see, my other Joanne stuff. Oh, I know. I was going to show Patty this. I don't know if Patty's working or not. Um, this was the other new thing that got had at Joanne's I picked up and, and they also have like extra books you can get. I'll see you later, Brooke. Hi, Vanessa. Killing the wedding dress Sunday. You going to a wedding? Their daughter getting married. I, thought I must be out of the loop. All right, Mama's son's gonna be right back. <laughs> Physical therapist. Yeah, there's um this paper I've never seen. I usually you have to go back. I mean, to get the handmade papers, you, you typically have to go. Yeah, I found all those at Joanne's, Christy. It was over by the um, planner, Happy Planner stuff. And they have them um, like, um, you know, like rods. And then they have them hung in there. So go over by the Happy Planner stuff at your Joanne Fabrics. And that's where they had those beautiful papers. And they're only three dollars each, so it's a really good price. I would have been more selective had it been six dollars, but since it was three dollars, I, I was like, I gotta have, I gotta have one of each. And of course, the extra boho ones. This is cool in boho. This is um, by um, American Crafts. And it's sustain, sub, sustainable journaling because it's made of bamboo. And, you know, bamboo grows very quickly. And, um, you know, it's, uh, you know, people have used this in their houses and stuff because it grows quicker than trees. It's easier for them to get a hold of. It's, it's just better environmentally wise. So, um, 
They also have a line of some other journals that are uh, soft journals. They have a gray like fabric journal. They have little wood uh, embellishments made of bamboo that you can buy in the line. And this is um, the papers are also um, everything's recyclable and they say to recycle the material. I recycle everything. I've been recycling since 1987. So I've been on board with that. But look at this beautiful journal. It is gorgeous i don't know what i'm gonna do with it it is made of bamboo i've never seen a wood journal and see how they made with the gaps see the gaps in there so it so it's flexible even though it's solid you made of solid wood of bamboo it, it it spine was made with these little cuts so it's flexible it's genius it comes with two it uh, comes with two journals it has um i like a paper paper type inside you see the with the stitching it came with um this one came with the light green and the dark green um i threw this one in because i wanted um and then you can buy extra ones. They have craft. They have all different colors. This one is a dot journal. Um, but these are the two that came with it. And they sell these separate. So you can get. So let's say you want to just keep using this. And you can pull. You you know. You can pull these out. And just keep replacing your books. You know what I mean. These keep using the cover for a while. But it's. Um, this was actually the one they had on top. And the nice thing is when you had this pretty colored folio, when you close your book, it shows through. And these are laser, like laser cut. And I think these are all 50% off right now, Joanne. So at least the soft color, the soft ones are 20. These were 40. They're really pricey. They're 50% off right now. You can get these for 20 bucks. And they had one other style. They had two of these. They had this one and they had another one that had like um, a different design, like slits of some sort. It, they had two of these. So they had two wood ones and the rest were all self-covered. I just could not resist a, a wood-covered bamboo journal. Like this is totally cool and i love the flower design it's so cool so that's new to me i don't know if you guys have, have heard of this i've never heard of this this is i walked by the end cap i about fell over i was like oh my gosh it's, it's wood it's wood The living hinge. The living hinge has such a difference. Having it hard bound, never seen it, and bamboo. Oh, so, okay, so Tori, Tori has seen this before, and it's called the living hinge. Well, that is really neat. Did you know that? I didn't know that. It's called the living hinge. That's incredible. So, I mean, it, it's all wood, but it's made, like I said, with the gaps to bend. It's the best of both worlds. I, um, that's incredible. I didn't know that. See, we learn something new from each and every one of us. Like, we learn something new every day, right? The Living Hinge. I just like how that sounds. I just love how that sounds. Yeah. Right, Christy? It's the bamboo is super durable. Um, okay, make sure I didn't miss anything. Maggie, are you running out to Joanne's? <laughs> run, run, run to Joanne's. Bamboo journals and giant, beautiful handmade papers. <laughs> 
<laughs> Have a great day. Thanks for being here, Maggie. So, yeah, I had to show you guys the piece of resistance, right? I've never seen a wood journal. I don't, I know exactly what I'm going to use this for, but it's fabulous. Oh, yeah, and there's a little, there's a pen loop. And there's a and there's a pocket and all my excitement. Um, there's a pocket over here and a little pin loop. So it, it's a pretty journal. And if you want it 50% off, because 40 is crazy. I wouldn't have paid 40 and did not use a coupon for it. Um, but uh, this is fabulous. Fabulous. Okay, so if uh kathy um is she still shopping so kathy um did a cute uh stamp on top of some uh painter's cloth and then she stitched it the other day if you didn't see her her stream from tuesday and she stitched it and what she used to stitch it with maybe tomorrow you don't have a joann's near you check online vanessa and see if they have it because uh see if they have the paper because i know um the joanne's has an online web uh, online website see if you can find it there oh, okay tomorrow you're going to go to joanne's okay so she's running not as fun errands today fun stuff tomorrow all right so she uh this is all this is all kathy's fault so she made that adorable little stitching and she used these teeny tiny baby yarns oh my gosh these are so cute so i went to joann's and got the baby yarns and i bought the little yarn things must be for you know the big yarn to put them in so i could just feast my eyes and all when I'm not using this and look at all the cute baby yarn colors and just eye popping pretty right and this is what she used to make her fluffy cute flowers on the girl she stitched the other day that she used the art foamies for and these guys are adorable they fit in my hand these come in packs of, I think, eight in a pack. They come in packs of eight. These are the world's cutest yarns. And ready? Hold on. I get to the bottom. Let me see if I can get to the bottom. I want to show you the sparkly ones. Okay. And some of the differences in them. Hold on. I was... All right. So they are, there's ones that are sparkly, all right, so they have little tiny sparkles, so I got the sparkles, look at the, look how cute these are, I don't crochet, I'm going to use these for slow stitching, look at these guys, well this would be for the thicker ones, not for like so much you know, you might want to use a thinner thread for attaching the fabrics, but I think this would be fun for some of the fancy stitches. Look how cute these are. And they're pretty. And they're rolling out of my hand. They're so cute. Um, I gravitate uh, to, of course, the darker colors. But, yeah. So, there's also sparkly packs. And even a pink, I'm going to send that one to Eileen with the flamingos. And peach, that's another sparkly one. Um, the difference, there's some differences. Even though uh, this was the part that kind of confused me. Maybe uh, you all who are, are more yarn experts than I am. The interesting part is they both said they were the same weight. And the same whatever, same everything. But as you can see, even though the package said they were the same, like this is finer. 
I got these at Joanne Fabrics. They're by they're by Lion. You can also buy these at. Um, they probably have these at Michaels, and they probably have these on Amazon. And Michaels, I found and Jo and I got these at Joanne's, and they come in packs of eight. And just check your prices. There's a variety of prices. Joanne's, I think, had them for five dollars for a pack of eight. They were cheaper than Amazon. But it depends if you have a Joanne's or how you like to shop. There were there were varying prices. So, but uh you can find these at Michaels, Amazon, Joanne's. I'm sure it's Michaels. I'm assuming Michaels because I think Lions and Hobby. I did check Hobby Lobby and they did not have these. So, um, Hobby Lobby did not have these. Sorry, I got to lower my chair. I put my feet on the ground. Um, Hobby Lobby didn't have these. So I know that much, but there's a difference between one is fine and one is fuzzy. So just keep that in mind, even though on the package said they were the same, you know, visually you can see that one is, one is fuzzy and one is finer. So there's differences. There's the fuzzy one, the fine one, and the um, sparkle ones. But they were they were kind of in between yeah so this is what kathy used to slow stitch the cute little flowers and knots on that girl she showed on tuesday and so i went to joanne's to get uh to look for them and that's where i found mine at um but these are adorable and so have fun. This is, you know, just so you know what I got. I don't know if you care about stitching or yarn or slow stitching. Not your thing. Don't worry about it. Um, I just want to show you guys what, you know, this is all Kathy's fault. Usually it's all Eileen's fault. Okay. Mixing up paints. Okay. Thanks, Christy. Um, thank you, Dar, for posting that. Same way, totally different twist or material. Yeah, that, see, I'm not a yarn expert. So anyone that actually, you know, knits and does a lot of this and there's more, it, that was interesting because the packaging, I wish I kept it now. The packaging said it was the same and it's not. It says it was the same, but yeah, the weave is different. Yeah, one is very fine and one is very fluffy. And I thought it was interesting that the package said they were the same weight and everything. So I'm no expert. I don't know why that is. But, like, the sparkle was also fine. But, yeah, there's a good shot. When I pull my hand back, you can see the difference between fluffy and not fluffy. Now, I think Kathy used the fluffier thread when she did her flowers um, on the drop cloth. Like this fine one might be better for attaching some of the fabric for slow stitching. And then this is fluffier. This might be better for the knots and flowers. I could see I could see there being an advantage to one, a disadvantage to the other, but I did want to show you the differences. I was pretty I was pretty shocked at the difference. These are not the same brand, but but they're yeah, so they're teeny tiny. And I thought this was cool because you would have a large variety of color and not spend that much money, you know. So I have a lot of yarn downstairs um, that I use for weaving. Um, I used to weave. Um, but I thought I really like uh, the fact that this one had really fine texture. And it, it's really fine. I'm zooming in, but it actually is really fine. I think this would be great for it. And look at the large variety of colors for slow stitching. You'll have, and then you can also just put them in a bowl or a jar or whatever you have and sit it out when you're not using it just for eye candy. It's just like a bucket of colorful joy, right? At least I look at it as that. And I, a bucket of colorful joy 
and that's why I put it in because it's just so pretty. So that's why I'm going to store it in to look at when I'm not using it. This is all Kathy's fault. These cute little yarns. Oh my gosh. So cute. So that was my other crazy purchase. This is what I went there for and ended up with the journals and the papers. I did not go in there for, I did not go in there expecting to find the other stuff. That's for sure. Yeah, I had a, another doctor's appointment and stuff. So I was like going to Joanne's, found the stuff, and I actually had them hold it, went to my doctor's, and then I went back to Joanne's. <laughs> so I, I was like, I don't have time to stay. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you guys was, um, got this the other day, but I know I haven't been time to show you guys. I don't know if I showed you all this or not. This would be cute for Valentine's Day. Um, I found some this the other week at Hobby Lobby. I can't remember if I showed you, but so I'll re-show it. Um, I found this cute fabric um, of Valentine's fabric with trucks and flowers. So I got to figure out a fun, I got to figure out a fun Valentine's project to do in February with this. And I don't know what yet. I mean, I want to be able to use the fabric somehow. I want to use this for um, a fun, you know, Valentine's page. So, because I don't normally um, do a lot of florals. So, but this was too cute. So, I got to figure out a fun way to use this for Valentine's Day. So, since we're almost into February. Yeah, the Hobby Lobby had this. I don't know if I have the edge with the, the one on Etsy might have it. We find a lot of fabric on Etsy that you can get the stores. This is called 2021 Brother Sister Design Studio. And I found this at Hobby Lobby, but you can also, a lot of people buy fabrics at Hobby Lobby and Joann's and things like that and sells them on Etsy. If you don't have a Hobby Lobby, you can also search Etsy. There's a lot of people that sell fabric on Etsy. And you might be able to find this truck fabric there. I think this would be so pretty. So, any anyone has any ideas, I really want to use this for a Valentine's. Um... I want to show you guys this. I got this from Katie. Um, her, her YouTube channel is Katie's Tribe Times Five, I believe. And this is a cutest um, handmade journal she made and sell. And um, and the inside is got a pocket, and then basically you can make your make your uh, pages and then you could stitch through here and bind them. Um, I don't know. A rubber band wouldn't work. I don't know if that would work. It, it, I don't know. It'd be it to be a loose band if you wanted to not squish it too much. I haven't decided if I want to stitch, stitch uh, like papers in it or if I want to uh, like rubber band them, but I, without bending it, it is stitched on the edges. It might, it might be okay. I haven't decided, but this is the cover and I love the cotton fabric and I love the cows. So stinking cute. And look at the pretty blue fabric she put with it. And, um, the little bits, uh, I can't remember what that's called. I know everybody else knows. It looks like it might be stained. The little eyelet thing. I like how she put the little metal tab on the cow's ear. I thought that was a really cute touch. She had farm kits. And I picked that up. And it came, it came with um, all these cute little... Uh, pieces that she put with a really cute kit that, that Katie put together and is a really good price. So she sold these for $20 and is so sweet and so cute. 
and she gives you all these look at this one i love this fabric drink more milk um it comes and then she gives you a little um little chickens and roosters and she puts some cute little fabrics in the kit to play with if you don't use it in this you'll use it somewhere else so and so she threw in a bunch of cute little fabrics um i like that one with the black and white yeah so she threw in a bunch of little fabrics and i'm trying to dig it all out um and some cute little um these are really cute Oh, what kind of envelopes these are. Now, this one does, this one does not, this is a seed type. So, it's some sort of seed envelope. This one does not have a window. Date, planted, harvest, notes. And then this one has a window. So, if you had, you made your own seeds, you could put it in here and seal this up and then have the, have that list. And my dad, he saves his seeds from his brother's tomatoes um and plant some every year in honor of his brother so i thought those were neat um yeah so she threw in a bunch of cute little fabrics and some burlap ribbons and just some fun stuff to play with and i thought it was really sweet another little you know little quilt piece this was in it and oh yeah and she gave and she also had she put in ribbon or lace some burlap uh this was in it some cute little doilies and i think these were in it some little like burlap ribbon things that was in it all this little thing was in this kit. It was so cute. Um, and then she also, uh, look, this piece of wallpaper uh, with the little bird houses and the pots and um, stuff. This was super cute. That was in it. Thank you, Dar, for posting that. Hi, Sarah. I showed some of the fabric in the beginning. Oh, bye, Teresa. Thanks again. And thank you for, um, thank you for contacting me. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. The, um, it's a cute kit and it came and she also put in some coordinating uh threads i like this rust colored and it had all these adorable little she put in all these cute little beads and and charms and seed beads and she just made this cute little kit that you could stitch on there and then she added some uh rusty some rusty paper pins and little buttons this kit is adorable adorable look at all these little goodies i got so that was in the little farm kit and then she had all different covers and um and she made this herself like she made the journal herself and uh i just want to share this with you guys so it's so cute and um every, each one was different some had roosters and they all were different and i like how she sewed the little buttons on she put i mean she's really good at sewing and i love this so i just wanted to share that with you kids because you know of course i love farm everything so she's going to have boho kits out soon and so if you like boho she's going to have some boho um journals like it'd be like this but it's going to be with boho fabric so she's going to be selling boho uh journal cover kits um soon when she gets she's working on them so just fyi check out uh reminders for her sales so she's got a boho journal i love boho too love boho and farm 
So I want to show you guys that if you don't follow Katie, she she will put usually will post when she's going to have a sale, and you can hit the reminder and uh, and if you want to go there, or you can just go there and watch. Of course, she's so cute. She's very sweet. She's very cute. Um, the other thing she did, which I thought was a super idea, is. Um, She took the um, double-sided tape. I don't know if this is uh, the rug tape. And she took pieces of farm fabric. So if you have a, you know, a lot of, I thought this is a great idea. So if you have a favorite fabric or fabric scraps, you know, that you don't, you keep because you don't want to part with, get, she used double-sided tape. And so all I gotta do is peel off the back and I can stick this in a journal. And she added all these cute pieces of the farm fabric and made fabric strips with it. And this is adorable. So it I mean it's like a little it's like a little mini quilt, right? It's if it's not stitched, but it, it's just adorable. So she adhered all these little fabrics. So it's like a fabric collage. And I love how she did it with different shapes, from squares to to long pieces. There's a little rooster, the word moo, um, and I saw all different shapes. Isn't this just, and here's just a little skinny piece she put on. So there's all different shape pieces. I thought these were cute. So she sold these as well. I love these. These were a big hit. Everyone loved them. I thought this was really clever. And I wanted this one because it had a pig's butt. It's cracked me up that they, she glued on a pig's butt on here. So part of the fabric, you got the pig's butt. So I had to want the pig's butt. That made me laugh so hard and I saw that. Uh, again, so she sewed all the different pieces. See, these are some bigger pieces. So then you can use them, do it however you want. And I think this is a great way if you love fabric and you have a lot of course you could do this with paper too you could do the same thing with with paper scraps right you could just put them on double-sided tape and um and then and then when you want to use use it add a little something to your journal you have it ready and then you don't feel guilty and you don't have scraps laying all over and um i love this one that's really cute the chicken in front of the barn so she did some navy, some florals, and I love that moo. Um, so you can see how cute this is. I, I thought this was a clever idea that she was doing. When her, her daughter was sick and not feeling well, she worked on making these for her sale so she could sit on the couch with her. And she made these, she made these to sell, which I thought was neat. Um, there's a little cow. The roosters, a little fabric. I have this one. That's a cute fabric. And I like that she has almost like the little, this reminds me of more like quilters fabric. So these were a big hit. Everyone loved them. So that's an idea for you guys to do with your fabric or paper is to buy some double-sided tape and make these little fabric strips. I think these would be not bad for little like happy mails for people too you know um that you, you know other artists friends that would appreciate it you know what i mean yes this thought thought kathy would be back kathy may not get here in time she's a shopping she's a shopaholic um She's like me. Once you get out, and you, you just get out, and then you're like, ah, oh, I need to do this, that, this, that, that, and your whole day's gone. Um, I will show you a couple other things, um, not so related, but they were um, they were some things I got at an auction or sale. Um, I got some of this stuff at Maddie's. I wanted to show you some of the. It, this is just a. Um, I don't know where she where she found this, but this was cute. Um, I'll show you some of the things. It's only got 20 minutes left. Okay. Um, so this is uh, something I got from Maddie and her sale. And it was, I think, like $7. And, and it's this cute book, Family and Friends Organizer. 
and I thought this was the sweetest little book and I saw it and I was just excited that I that I, I want you know I could get it because you know when you're going in you may or may not get stuff because there's other people who want stuff too so um, I think this book is adorable so I'm gonna alter it of course um, it doesn't have the binder rings it's spiral bound so you know which makes it you know you're not going to be able to take pages in and out like you could a cookbook but that's okay because it's really cute so this will be fun i'm going to just paint in it and alter it this will be a fun paint book to paint and alter so it's just a bunch of little pages in the back is a bunch of pocket pages so again i'm just going to have fun and just alter it so these are all pockets it's supposed to be organizing probably bills and stuff but eh cute cute to use for bills right um yeah gift list holiday list so this it's just a really sweet book um and i thought this would be a really sweet and fun book to alter you know do some collage do some painting in it you can add little things into the pockets however you want but um i like coming across stuff like this because it's just different, right? I love, yeah, so that was my fun little thing for Maddie. Um, I tried these things that you would be interested in. Um, hold on. Oh, this was cute. This is some. This was in here with it. Um, these sweet little envelopes were inside of it, which I thought were super sweet. Okay, these were inside. It came with the journal, and um, each card, each it has two, two. I think two images, or maybe three. I can't remember. Three images per thing. This is who makes it. This is the artist. See if I can zoom in. There's the artist, Carla. Oh, I can't pronounce it. Denorcher. That's the artist. And these are cute. Love is shared. Love is multiplied. Um, this one is friends and family are sources of happiness that's a cute these are really cute designs they're really sweet this one with the hearts uh the time has of singing the birds have come i love that i love birds and i think that was it for the variety so that was in there so these little cards were in here i was i didn't remember the cards being in the kit and when i opened it and i saw that these were like in a like in a package attached and i was like super excited i think these is super sweet so that was with it i think it thank you and then um i picked up some rice paper you guys saw and then i think i should just i can't remember what i've showed anyway i picked up the rice paper that goes with that book um so i got that so that goes with this paper line. So I end up getting the the rice paper I found at Joggles because this is an older paper line. So, but they were clearing these out. So I picked the. I'm not gonna, obviously these are too big to use unless I cut them down. But I want to let you know I found them. And I think there's anything else that might be it. I think. That's good timing because they're almost up to one o'clock anyway. I'm looking around, seeing if there's any other goodies. I did get a bunch of stuff from the auction. I guess I could finish showing some of that. Um, I got from Maddie. I mean, it's a sale. No, it wasn't an auction. It was a sale. Um, I got some woodies. I have a million of these. As Sherry knows, I don't know what's wrong with me, but I just keep buying them. Um, so this is like a bird one and then the other one i got was this is a boho one and this would be cute so that i could set that aside with the boho fabric right so there's a boho pack that was cute 
Um, and the other one I got was a sewing one. I got, yeah, I got three of those. And I got this one from Maddie. Um, this was sewing, painting, little buttons, little scissors, and a little sewing machine. This is a really cute set. So she took the woodies out of here and then took the little, I guess these pull out and pull these frames out and she used these for little mini shadow boxes and she did little mini art in here and kaiser craft is who makes these and i i wouldn't have thought to do that I, i've had a million of these boxes and i've thrown them out over the years um and just kept the woodies and didn't keep the boxes i didn't look at this i don't know why i did not look at this it's using the box for a little shadow box that's what she was showing so i thought that was a neat idea to use these for shadow boxes and i never thought about that i was just thinking more a space savings you know what i mean not from an art perspective um these i got these i did not get from maddie these i bought i can't read etsy or if it was I remember it's Etsy or Amazon, I can't remember, but these were cute. These are faux rusty. It's a little cute. So my goal would be with the chicken wire is if we could get, if we could get it to even, you know, look like this, like this is a faux, faux rust clips. And this would be really cool if I could get the chicken wire um, to be similar color. But these were cute. So the Rusty Clips by Prima. And it'd be awesome if I could get that. And they're a little different. They're all a little different. See, like, they're not the same. Like, this one has really got some cool faux rust. So this would be a, a neat. This would be what you'd, I'd want to achieve. You know what I mean? And then I get a couple stencils from Maddie. I got that from her and I got some other stuff from her. Kind of some of my stuff I've already put away. Put some of my stuff away. So I'm trying to I'm trying to remember what because I once I get it, I try to put all my stuff together. Like if I buy it for a uh, you know oops, sorry it's loud. Sorry. Um I picked up some um the sheets of the Lady Vagabond um, acetate sheets from her. These are new stuff. These are not like you can buy these at other places too. Um, I got the graphic 45 little key things for the Lady Vagabond. I did get this. Um, I got this stuff from Maddie. This is some cute fabric with the keys. Hey, Smokey. Um, I did get some hinges. Um, Smokey, please. Smokey. Hey. Oh, he listens to Tom Moore. Hold on. Yeah, stop barking. He upstairs or downstairs? He's upstairs. He's barking. He probably sees the mailman or someone walking. Who knows? Stinker. Um, and then this was cute too. Look at the little, this is a stencil um, I picked up and look how it has the little dressmaker and the little gears. So um, this is where I'm kind of getting stuff together to work on the Lady Vagabond stuff. And so I've been kind of gathering. Oh, and the other thing I got from her is this um, from Maddie. Look at the little key, the little lock and key. I think this would be cute too. So this is kind of where I've been gathering some stuff for the Lady, Lady Vagabond. Uh, I want to start working on that at some point. So I've been gathering from this place and that place and this place to get all the all the goodies. So that would be fun. Um, but yeah, the other thing I bought from her, which is so, I don't know. I just couldn't resist it. This is kind of reminds me of the uh, old Tim, you know, the Tim Holtz um, 
Didn't he have like an old fashioned car in one of his stamp sets? I'm pretty sure he did. And anyway, I thought this was cute. So I did grab this. It reminds me of the Tim. Tim did have an old fashioned car at some point in his. Um, it's just a one-piece collage. It's a one-piece collage stamp, and I thought this was—I thought this was unique. So I'm, I'm pretty sure Tim did this already. And let's see. Let me look over here on my table. Table of stuff here. I have stuff. Uh, stuff. From, oh, and I did pick up this. Again, it's where I liked a lot of things. This is boho for sure. I picked up this rice paper. It's very boho. And it's very pretty and soft and delicate. Um, I picked these rice papers up from her. I'm not sure um, who makes. Let's see. Is it Studio Light makes those? I think. Yeah, I think I think Studio Light makes these. Um, and I thought these were pretty. So this would be this would be nice to use with that paper and that. So this is uh, Janine's windfall. So I thought that was really pretty white paper. You couldn't find the artisan paper on online. Um, let me pull the sticker off the paper. Make sure maybe they don't have it. Maybe they have it online. Let's see. Okay. Is this what is this what you search? I'll hold that up so you can maybe key in the SKU. Four zero zero one seven two. Nine four five eight eight six. See if you can key in that skew and see if it brings this up. Hard for me to hold it still. Oh wow! So everyone, they're talking about um, about the snow and um, <laughs> nothing's wrong with you, her collector. That was sweet, Carla. Yeah, I have a lot of the little um, all the little woodies and stuff like that. I just have a huge collection of them. Um, I think they're always cute, and then you know. I was, I was going back reading Carla's comment, but I will keep the little boxes from now on. I won't toss those from now on, knowing that they can be used as little shadow boxes. That's the neat thing about, you know, others is they come up with something. You're like, oh, man, I didn't think of that. I, you know, um, let's see. Everything I, I did put these on Instagram. So if you saw it already, I have I did a few, few things with um I jumped behind on already. I need to get going on Wonderlust class. Um, this was this was like a kind of bonus lessons they had in the very beginning, and these are more like kind of warm up uh, warm up lessons. Uh, this one was a lesson by Sean Petit. She was talking about she carries a little notebook around with her. And um, when she uses these paint chips and um, and then she finds different quotes, she'll take a, uh, a photo of it or whatever. And she just keeps a, a book of quotes and she fixes this cute little, just an average little notebook, school notebook, little tiny notebook. And then um, that was a cute lesson. So I like that one. Um, and this is where I changed my, I got my hair done. Looks a little bit better now. <laughs> uh, it's still cool, but it, it looks a little bit better now. It's not as thick. 
Um, I did get my hair done. This was to do a, um, a, a self-portrait. <laughs> this is my version. So I made this my little um, picture now. That was part of that. That was fun to do. That was also. So this is some of the older ones from um, from Wanderlust I did with Kasha. She always works in the little uh, Dina Wakely or Dina Reevely books. And um Diane Reevely books. Gosh, I get this too confused all the time. Anyway, so I have a few different ones. This is from 2019. These are some of the lessons from, and so I'm just, since I never finished, this is from last year. Um, since I never finished the book, I'm just going to keep working in it and, and putting in like each year's uh, wanderlust into the book and just keep working in it. It doesn't matter that it's multiple years, right? This one was fun, um, and I had to add my barking dogs. They're smoking bandits. I had to add that to it. This was a fun one to work on, um, and I just did my take on it. And this was another version of the one from last year. I did two of those, and it's and I forget to use the paint chips. We all have these, and I forget to use paint chips. And this got me all inspired for the stitching part too. You know, I mean, stitching on fabric, stitching on paper, just adds something fun to it, right? So I'm gonna keep like you can see, I have a lot of pages left. I'm gonna keep working in this little book. Do Kasha does little like mini mini mixed media lessons. <laughs> this is us apparently playing with magicals at one point. Uh, I'm gonna keep working through this little book um, and. If I don't finish it this year, I'll just keep working it next year. So um, anyway, so it's going to keep adding cautious in here and the little lessons and stuff. So um, I'm going to keep adding those into it. And I think I did, um, wait a minute, I did one other one in here. This is something that Kathy and I did. Uh, I did the one by, I did one of the other ones. This is week two of Wanderlust. This one was really hard. This one really took me out of my comfort zone. This type of, of style is not something I'm, I'm, you know, good at or grasp, but this one was hard. But I did it. That one was hard. But again, it may not be your fat, your favorite, but it, you know, again, it's trying to try something new. And these were the, this was the postcard, the farm postcard I made. I want to make some more of these. So that's on my to-do list is, and is to make some more farm, um, farm fabric, um, postcards that I collaged and then stitched on. I want to make some more of these. Um, I really enjoyed making that. And those are relaxing to do. I'm also working, uh, started another class by, it's called Homebody. And um, I'm on, I just, I'm not very far into it. Um, but the, it's going, it's going through, she talks about, you know, finding inspiration everywhere. And it's a really great lesson. Uh, the class is only fifteen dollars. It's called Homebody, and it's by. Oh, why am I blanking her name? Hold on one second. There's a bunch of different lessons she kind of does. It's a bunch of short videos. She gets you started. She gets you started, and then um, and then you kind of go on your own. Um, one second, okay. Alyssa Burke is her name. A L I S A B U R K E. It's called the Home Body. Is the name of the class? It's a journal, and I saw that her advertisement on Instagram. It's going to go up to thirty-five. I think it's going to go up to like thirty-five or something like that. It's fifteen right now. I just started it. I decided to work through this journal. Has some great paper. In. I picked this up one time at Hobby Lobby, and I don't know what the I don't know what sort of the paper is, but the paper is amazing. Like it's really sturdy, and 
it, it's kind of going it's going back some of it is kind of old school stuff which you kind of forget about which I'm, and then some of it's going to be just some drawing and taking in things around you um this one i started but didn't finish like i need to uh color block all this in and things like that that's as far as i got i think oh and then i did then we did a bunch of backgrounds for some more lessons coming up but uh, she has you going this was one of them doing a messy crazy uh acrylic background and then we'll do something on top of it and then doing some plain ones so a, a beginning of it is getting is picking a book a journal you want to play in and then prepping prepping you know you don't have to prep the whole book but prep several pages with paint and she talks about the acrylics watercolors um and then you like this one i'll go back over this with something else it seems like a really awesome class i'm really enjoying it um i like i said some of these things i have forgotten about i really have this was so fun to do a watercolor background um and then to add the acrylic paint over top and then journal oh, journal on it with the pen and the page looks the page looks done i mean it and then this is sort of i'm really bad at this you can see i did some scribbling i'm really bad at this this is where, yeah, my handwriting's not so good. I'm really struggled. This is used. Everyone used to do the whole wiggly line, and you start all big, and then you do the the lines the exact size, and you do different shapes, and you make it look very artsy. This is kind of like the Joanne Pink thing, you know. She does. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Some of that stuff. Um, but anyway, it's a neat class. So it's only fifteen dollars. It's uh, called the Home Body by Alyssa Burke, and she has a lot of other classes on her thing. So if you're looking for an inexpensive art class um, to take, um, that's something else. Uh, she is on Instagram. Um, she has a you know a website where you sign up and things like that. Just just some more inspiration for you guys, like um, you know. That's all what we're here for, right? It's just to show you some goodies and to uh, and to inspire you, right? So I appreciate everybody coming today. And I think my new stream time will be at 11 o'clock uh, a.m. Eastern instead of 10. And that way um, I have more time to wake up and uh, we'll work on, you know, so do some sort of Valentine's project in February and, I don't know some other stuff we'll figure it out as we go along but um and uh, kathy uh will be with me uh some of the times and so on and so forth so thanks everybody for popping in for my gigantic uh multiple haul thing um i hope you had fun and thanks for your support and kindness and i really appreciate you being here And uh, I will talk to you guys later, okay? And um, I think Barb is on at 2. Cass's class starts at 1 if you're signed up for that. And um, thanks again, everybody. I appreciate you being here. All right. Bye, everybody.